So I saw that picture you tweeted out. That was a big fish. Yeah, what, was, uh, what kind of fish was that? It was a I think, coho salmon, okay. about 20 pounds. It was the biggest fish I ever caught before. Ronnie said you guys are fishing for catfish. That makes a lot more sense. He doesn't know. He was just upset because he didn't catch one. That's right. <laughs> me and Derek did, though. That's pretty sad. That's yeah. pretty, it's a bummer. Yeah. Right away, tell me the story of you, uh, of you catching a fish. Well, uh, we got out there early, like, I think we got out there at like six, went to the coast in Florence, mm -hmm. about an hour away from here. Yeah. And um, we just got on the boat. We were on the boat probably for like, you know, 30 minutes. We got light out real quick. And then it was just like, almost like off the bat, like two rods just got um, hooked on. So me and Derek were just like, trying to just learn the technique. Our guy was like teaching us, walking us through it, but it was happening so fast. But me and Derek were talking about how like, it's kind of how like our coaches preach about how like football is going to relate to life. And I it was, thought it was funny how like, how hectic it was, it was going on, but we were calm at the same time, just listening to instruction. And then like, we caught our fish first try. And the, and the uh, guy was just telling me like, how well both of us were just like responding to instructions. I didn't freak out and all that stuff. So. And I think this has a big part of it. That's wild. So yeah. you, you uh, credit to your coaches and your football experience to help you catch that. Yeah, program. definitely. I credit this program to how I am today. You know, they. I mean, we see these guys more than we see our family, so they're, they're kind of like molding us into the men we're going to be. Yeah. You fished before? No, I mean I haven't fished like seriously like that. I caught like little tiny fish out on back home, right. stuff like that, but nothing that big. Right, right. Yeah. You've been telling everybody the story. You, of that, okay? I kind of am. Everybody saw it on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, so they're always asking me about how, how big it was. Like, me and Marcus were just talking about it just now. Okay. You, uh, you guys caught him right away, and then five hours. Yeah. That must have been frustrating, right? I mean, me Not and Derek were kind of happy because we actually got one. Yeah. Uh, the first time I went out there a couple weeks ago, it was like before camp started. I didn't catch anything. We were out there for like six hours, so it wasn't bad. But um, I kind of thought it was just cool just to get away from the city a little bit and just relax yeah. and just, you know, just experience something new. So I thought it was fun. What else do you do at the weekend? Um, that's kind of a bit about it. We got back Saturday night and kind of just relaxed, got my mind right for today. Yeah. You guys cook it up, cook up the fish? Yeah, up. I cooked some last night. How do you prepare? Um, my mom makes these salmon croquettes. They're kind of like a like a um, crab cake, but it's, it's salmon instead. So I called her last night, tried to get the recipe from her, so I made some of that last night. Some rice, some corn, and just ate it How up like that. Out? It was lovely. It was so good. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Getting to actual football. Uh, Cal throws the ball all over the place. Um, how much for you as, as, a, as a rush guy, how much onus is on you to, to get pressure on the quarterback to help stop that, that passing offense? I think it's, um, it's quite important. It takes some load off our, our secondary, you know, because that guy is you know, he's the best passer in the nation right now, and I think it's going to be uh, big for our defense if we get after that guy and just put him in the dirt a couple times. Have you been able to watch that much? Yeah, I have. I watched some Northwestern and some um, Portland State game, a little bit of Ohio State game. What do you think about their offense? I think they're big up front, got some um, big tackles, uh, fast running backs, five and two, they, they get after it. Um, I think I think their receivers are really competitive. Um, I know they said this quarterback's young, but I think he knows what's going on out there. He has a great feel for the game. Do you try to rattle a young, a true freshman quarterback? I mean, is there any sense of that? If you can get to him early, you can maybe rattle him a little bit. He's, he'll be playing in Austin. This will certainly be the toughest atmosphere he'll have ever faced. Um, I don't know if that's like our, our focus. We kind of just go out and just play our game, really. 